flying pigeon is a very beautiful movement to cultivate emotional freedom. All the flying movements in Qigong are about letting the heart open, letting the heart soar. And this movement, movement in partic particular is acknowledging again the uh, connection between the heart and the kidneys through the spinal undulation that is part of the movement. Yeah. So let's do two movements before we go into flying pigeon. <laughs> yeah, this movement again is for emotional freedom, emotional balancing, opening the heart, connecting with the vi vitality source that is in the lower back and the kidneys. This is really, really nice practice. We're going to do two practices beforehand to kind of warm up the joints and open the body. The fir first movement is going to be spinal light gathering. We're going to bend the knees slightly, light fist. As you inhale, you arch the spine backwards so the head goes back, the scapula close together, and the tailbone is out. And then as you exhale, tailbone in, and shoulders, yeah, shoulder blades away from each other, elbows close together, chin to the chest. So let's inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth as a way to kind of cleanse and clear. Then so we do the flying pigeon is going to be more tonifying. So let's use these two movements in the beginning for cleansing and clearing. So tuck the stomach, curl the tailbone under and then inhale, tailbone out, head is back. Exhale through the mouth and release what needs to release. So just few movement, few repetition like that to open the spine. It's gonna be easier. Inhale deeply, open the heart, open the lungs, breathe, tailbone out, head back, and exhale. Tuck and curl in. Now let's relax this movement. And then understand the spinal undulation, yeah? So when we go the chin forward, we exhale. When we tuck the tailbone under, chin to the chest, that's the inhalation. Exhale and inhale. Yeah, so when we do the spinal undulation, it taps into the kidney chi. Yeah? Exhale and then curl the tailbone under, feeling the kidney, breathe up the spine. So the water like movements are very good for calming the heart. Yeah, so any movements that are going like water undulation is really good for calming down the nervous system it's very good for anxiety or being too much in our head or in our heart I know we're all calm people but sometimes <laughs> we do need that right And enjoy this the spinal undulation breathe very slowly see how you harmonize the kidney and the chest and the heart open here as you in a full inhalation the inhalation is full the spinal rolls the whole way and let's relax this movement Nice, it's a very, very nice flow to this spinal undulation. And this flying pigeon is going to use that spinal undulation, but in a very subtle way. So that's why I wanted to start with opening the spine and moving the spine like water so we understand the flying pigeon. Flying pigeon, both hands to the side. Yeah, 
Inhale. Open the heart and the chest. Exhale. As you can see, my whole body is moving. Even the knees and the ankles. Inhale. As you open the wings, you inhale. As you close and you gather the chi, you exhale and emit it to the heart, like right here. Inhale. And exhale. Let's take one step with one leg forward and do a variation on this. It's going to be very, very nice for stability, for balance, shifting the weight forward and back. Go back, you are full on the back leg, try to lift the front leg and be fully on the back leg. It's very, very good for stability, balance. Open the heart. See when you spread the feathers, when you open the chest, you inhale. Okay, let's shift the weight into the right leg and step with the left foot forward. Now let's try this flying pigeon in this, this variation. So you can play with lifting the toes of the front foot up while you're switching into the back. The inhalation is here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale forward. Tuck the tailbone. Inhale. Open the spine. Open the rib cage. Exhale. As I shift to the back, I start to inhale. As I shift forward, I exhale. Shift to the back, inhale, tuck the tailbone under. And slowly opening the chest, top of the inhalation, and then exhale fully. The legs are strong. The upper body is soft. Move into two feet together again. When the two feet together is a little easier to understand the spinal undulation. Inhale up. Exhale. Here. Tuck the tailbone under. Inhale. Exhale. Let the spine and the shoulders be very soft. Feel all the joints from the hips up are so soft. And relax. 
Nice. Close your eyes. Feel the body. Let's put both hands on the lower abdomen. And listening to the breath in the lower abdomen region while both hands are on the navel. This last part is very important. So try not to skip the last meditative meditation part. This is the time where the mind and the body kind of digest the practice. Feeling the breath, the body is relaxed, the breath is full and deep, the mind is calm and relaxed. From a place of peacefulness, of evenness, of relaxation, open the hands to the side, palm face the front and opening the eyes. Thank you so much.